Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, going over what's going to be coming in this month in Dragalia. Now, I gave it a quick look through. It looks to be a very short month. But hey, let's see what's going on. That's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So let's go. Children of Idrisil Invasion event is here. Yeah, it's the new event type that's currently going on. There's a lot of killing dudes, I can tell you that much. It's uh, been some time since the story explored the Sylvan culture and traditions, and Cerise in general. And Cerise is back in the spotlight to drive uh, events forward. She finds herself taking up the mana caster over the course of this event, and she's featured in the latest Galadragalia as Sharpshooter Cerise alongside Galamascula, who has a role his own to play in Chapter 19 of the main campaign. Plans for this month. The Angel Raphael and the Sylvan Isaac, who appears in Children of Idrisil event currently going on, will be featured in a prize showcase starting on 602. For further details and their stats, check when it comes out of the game. Hello! Hello, lady. This right here, big fan. Damn, you're really in... Man, they gotta stop making really cool angels who are giant dragons, so I never get to use them. Cool. New bosses will continue to appear in Trials of the Mighty. Until now, players have faced a single boss in combat, but the upcoming Shadow Legions trial, players will have to defeat multiple enemies in a large-scale battle akin to the Imperial Onslaught. Materials for unlocking the five adventurers Summer Varicus Mana Spiral will be available from the daily bonus of this quest. Agni's Trial and Jane Dark's uh, Trial are also coming, and the daily bonuses for these quests offer materials for unlocking five adventurers Galalaxy and Galalucas Mana Spiral, respectively. Yeah, it's true. Looking forward to see how they look, even though I think it should have been Galaceris and not Galalaxy. <laughs> An Onslaught event will be held in mid-June, with Tobias appearing in his pretty fancy getup. It seems he's acting as someone else's special orders, but you have to play the event to discover the details. Fancy led Tobias over here. Which I think that marks the last of the units. No, that's not true, because there's still Summer Alex coming up in the horizon. Uh, part 1 of Chapter 20 of the main campaign will be added in late June, and with it a new area called the Sacred Tree. Okay, no, okay, yeah. A time attack challenge. I don't know why, for some reason, them saying a new area called the Sacred Tree just completely screwed my mind. A time attack challenge event pinning you against flame attuned adventures will be held soon. A new boss, Asura, will appear and rise in the Sinister Dominion early next month. He looks like a Mega Man enemy. And usually. <laughs> He is the most Mega Man looking villain we've ever received. He looks just more super machine, man. I don't know what about him just reminds me of Mega I think it's the face right here. I think there's literally a Mega Man villain with this face cover right here. The rest of him, I don't know. Oops, doesn't say really what type. Future updates. Over time, we have found that players who want to repeat quests that award materials to level up facilities during facility events are forced to interrupt this loop when there are extra boss battles appears. By removing the extra boss battles from future facility events, both new ones and that, and those that are added to the event compendium, and adjusting the distribution of rewards, we hope to smooth out this gameplay loop. Thank fucking god. You have no idea how long I've waited for them to fucking do this. I think since they added the um, the update with um, a similar ticket system, I've been wanting them to fix facility events because it's, the loop fucking sucks. You have to do three fights, stop, extra, go back, stop, extra. I always thought, which it's interesting that they've decided to just completely remove it, because I don't understand why they don't just do the ticket system. Maybe they don't want to do it because then it would be too similar to it, but I don't know, man. It seems pretty damn dumb that they decided to do it. <laughs> that it took, what, almost three years for them to figure out, like, oh, let's just get rid of it and increase drop rewards, because nobody likes doing this. I sure as fuck don't like doing this. 
and I don't name a one per also you can't skip ticket these uh, events so they're super just tedious as fuck man so I'm glad that they're finally doing something to improve it now you just need to improve the five adventurer tickets and I'll be a pretty happy camper, camper from then on out. Um, we will make the daily bonus from various quests more convenient to earn by crea crafting one central location from which players can clear all these quests with just one tap using skip tickets. The change will not affect Trials of the Mighty. Cool. Good. Thanks to your continued passion and support for Gigalia Lost, the game will reach 1000 day anniversary on June 21st. We'll be holding various events to celebrate the momentous milestone and thank players, so stay tuned for more details. Hmm. Thank you for reading this month's update. We're giving all players the following gifts this month. Champions Testament times 2. Eldwater 25,000. Hmm. What is going to be in this 1,000 day anniversary? So that's basically it. Um, not a lot of news. But I think it's because a lot of this is just them holding it off for this 1,000 day thing. I didn't even realize we were coming that close to 1,000 days. That's crazy. Um, hmm. As much as I really do kind of want this girl right here. Because just look at her. Fantastic. Um, a 1,000 day thing really sounds like they're going to have something big planned. Now let's see. In terms of... Gala Dragalia is currently have a dragon coming up. Very rarely do they do hype events where the main unit is a Gala dragon. I think Mars is the only one, right? No, Mars wasn't because he was bait before the collab. That's right. They've never done. Hmm. -hmm. I wonder what they're gonna do. Obviously, they didn't say they're gonna be doing a digest. Um. If they did a digest, I would almost feel like that basically guarantees that we're getting a collab of some kind. Not to, you know, make anyone feel like, oh my god, we're getting a collab. It's confirmed. It's not confirmed. Nothing's confirmed. It's just very interesting that they want to celebrate it with events and they don't want to tell us what it is right now. It usually means it's something big or something really cool coming up. So, we'll just have to stay tuned and wait till what's gonna happen until then. I don't know when exactly the thousand days though. Thousand days on June 21st. I guess we'll have to wait till June 21st. See what's up on then. <laughs> but it must be pretty big if they don't want to show it to us. That's that's what I was trying to get across. But that's the end of today's video everyone. I hope you liked it. Very short um, this month. But of course it seems like they're hiding a lot of it for the thousand day celebration so. Till next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next video, and see you in the next adventure. Peace out.